This is a 600mm lens, which I carried with me every single day through the jungles of Costa Rica. Well, I would say it was worth it, considering I got shots like this. Now, while this looks great, this is the image I started out with, which is not so great. Now, if you love taking wildlife images as well, but you are wondering how you can bring them to the next level, let me bring you into Luminaneo and show you how I did it in this case. And after the baseline image, we're gonna have a quick stop in Photoshop, where I show you how I brought this image from good to great. Let's go. Yeah, this is too large. I mean, Jesus. First, let's crop the image to give our friend the spotlight he deserves. We will crop a lot, so we're gonna end up with a very small photo, but we'll simply enlarge it later again. Don't worry. Next, due to the cropping and the high ISO, we have a lot of noise. So let's use the noise reduction tool in Lumina Neo. In other software, you have to make sure that the noise reduction is only applied outside of your subject. But Lumina Neo does that automatically and makes sure the subject stays nice and sharp. Now it's time to work on the light a little. Let's use a develop module for that and start bringing down the highlights and also up the shadows. This evens the image out a little bit. But of course, we want to make sure we have good contrast. So let's bring blacks down a bit and the whites up a bit. Now I want to make sure that our little hummingbird friend here stands out. But right now he could be a pigeon and no one would see the difference in this grayness. I played around and I found that the structure functionality is actually amazing for this. Check it out. Let's bring it all the way up. But of course we don't want the effect everywhere. So let's use a brush to mask that onto our bird. Look at that before and after, it's insane. Now during the main edit, I took a break here just to reset my eyes, so to speak. And I realized I can make it brighter. We can use a vignette for that. Let's add one ever so slightly, but make sure to really bump up that feather and the inner light. Okay, this looks much better and much more mm, catchy, I guess. Look at that before and after, after only a couple of minutes can't even drink a coffee that fast. So this is the base edit and it's good. Post this on social media and people will love it. But I wanted to take it a step further. The problem is that Lumina Neo can't easily do what I had in mind. Let me show you. See, our bird friend here is actually pissed because it's raining. Or at least that's what I like to believe because I surely was pissed. Anyway, you can see the raindrops which give the image a much more rough flare, which I like. I want to add some more drops though, and in Lumina Neo, while possible, it's rather exhausting and difficult. So let's change things up and bring our image over to Photoshop. I am going to use Photoshop Beta, which you automatically have if you have a Photoshop subscription. So let's create a new layer. I'll simply use a white brush and start setting down white dots in different sizes where I want to add droplets. Different sizes are important, so it looks real and natural on the end. Because raindrops are not uniform, are they? I won't set too many to keep the focus on the bird, but once done, let's hit Filter, Blur and Motion Blur. With an angle of minus 90 degrees and a distance of around 60, we can blur the white dots we set before, which will make them just look like raindrops that are already there. To make this look a little bit more real, let's add a layer mask and use a black brush with an opacity of around 20% and go over some of the drops. This way they vary in how much they are visible, which is what we want. Look at that before and after. A little more rain for a little more flare. Now, while we are in Photoshop, I want to remove the piece of a branch down here. For me, it doesn't really add anything to the image, so let's remove it. For that, I'll use the lasso tool and make a rough selection around the piece of the branch. Now, let's use the generative fill function that is only available in Photoshop Beta and type in remove branch or simply remove and you can also leave it empty and just hit enter to remove things. Let's pick a version we like. Okay, this looks great. And the final step, let's have a look at the histogram. I can see that there is not a lot of bright tones in the image. So let's use a curve adjustment layer and bring everything up a notch and therefore make the image pop a lot more. Done. That looks awesome. But remember how we said at the beginning that the image is now very small because we had to crop a lot? Easy. We could do it in Photoshop, but I actually prefer to do these things in Lumina Neo just to bring it all back together. So export the image from Photoshop, bring it back into Lumina Neo and simply use the upscale AI feature. Choose a size, and I think two times is more than enough for me, and let Lumina Neo get the dimensions you want. Now, if you do like Lumina Neo, make sure you use the link in the description as well as the promo code Let's Image to save 10%. And we are done. We went from this to this. Unbelievable. Makes me look forward to start editing the sloths and monkeys and whatnot on my hard drives. 
For today, I hope you enjoyed this video of a Lumina Neo and Photoshop Duet. Now, if you did like this particular video and you found value in it, do not forget to hit the thumbs up as well as subscribe button to help out the channel if you so desire. And as always, always, stay safe and have a good one.